Yo, what's up guys, it's Parallel Cruz back with another tutorial and today I'll be showing you how to make this code zoom in effect that I used before and yeah, check the preview and I'll see you in the tutorial. Okay, so after you saw the preview, I have it in here once again. So this is how it looks in the program, like black bar splashes. Without the CC and RSMB, it's gonna be much better once you put all those things on this. For example, RSMB is gonna create like nice motion. But yeah, that's basically, it's, it's really simple effect, but not that simple. And one more thing that I wanna say is please use my supported creator code in Fortnite item shop. It supports me and I'm on a road to get actually first payment. So yeah, help me out. And another thing, in the description you will find this project file download link for this uh, you're getting the scope green screen that I created or made whatever you will have the clip and cinematic just so you can follow along and uh, yeah also the project will be in the description so you can have like you can just save the presets of the effects and that's pretty much it so what I have in here in this project that I'm gonna show you is literally really basic presentation of what, where is the cinematic where is the shot where is the zoom okay and also i'm gonna delete this because we don't need it anymore i'm gonna split this tutorial in a few parts first one is gonna be just explaining like those markers and what is the purpose of them then i'm gonna split it on cinematic sync and how are we gonna make a cinematic look good and go zoom in and zoom out and then last part is gonna be pretty much like effects and transitions from clip to cinematic and yeah that's basically it okay we got a song and just listen to it it's pretty simple so what i have in here is on beat is my shot effect as you can see th there is a bullet one bullet in the chamber now it's zero okay you just want to make a sync so the shot is on on the beat but you want to add three frames before it and just a quick note that I'm editing in 2997 might be different if you're editing in 60 FPS or something but I'm heavily recommending you editing in 29 or 24 don't go above 30 FPS so before the shot three frames is where it's gonna be the transition that's all you need to know and here it's all gonna depend on your clip and how long is the scope zoom I mean you can always cut the long scope in whatever but yeah dependable on your cinematic you want to make this uh, I would say hole or a spot for a cinematic and this is where the cinematic is gonna be but all these ten, 10 frames before is gonna be a transition okay so once you cut your clip or scope zooming in you won't go one two three four five place a marker one two three four five place a marker in total it's 10 frames okay that's where is our transition gonna be in as you can see I made a fade in fade out and then fade in just so I know and that's pretty much it for what we have in here the velocity is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 frames this is a normal speed I showed you how I do with a playback rate blah 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 it's really really simple just check the previous tutorials and you're gonna be fine and I made it fast fade because I wanted on this frame to have like scope and then the well it's transitioning a nice animation and yeah that's basically it for this part of the tutorial what we have in here and yeah now I'm gonna switch to cinematic and show you that and then effects okay so now I'm pretty much dragging my cinematic and I made it playback rate 4 uh, my cinematic is recorded in 60 fps a 0.01 or 0.1 scale so it's the slowest in Fortnite and then I imported it into VDub and made it 300 fps so even if the playback rate was 1 it would be still pretty short and fast cinematic but never mind okay so this is my cinematic as you can see it's repeating itself because it's too fast and we need to make it nice and smooth and now just right click on it go to insert remove envelope and press velocity at this point where our seven keyframe is or a marker you want to make a pretty much point and make it 25% and this first one you want to make it kind of fast like 200% let's say 
dependable on speed of your cinematic. As I said, I rendered this uh, in 300, so it's much faster. If you didn't do any like process, be process before this, you might have to do even 300 of you, or if you're in newer versions, maybe like 600. For now, I'm gonna keep it 200. I just wanna see how it looks, cause I kinda wanna make this fast, so it's like zooming in, slow motion, and then bam. And on this end, I'm gonna go around here, make another point, doesn't really matter, it's like more than a half, okay? I'm gonna make this point speed 15%. So it goes from 25 to 15, so it's even slower. And just go to the end here and go negative, negative, and make it slow. That's pretty much it. So it's gonna go, but as you can see, our cinematic is repeat, repeating. That means we were, we're gonna have to put this down. And as you can see, we got a nice flowing cinematic. That goes from zooming in, stops here goes backwards that's pretty much it for this sync i just wanted to show you before i just wanted to show you also the pancro for the cinematic and it's gonna be <clears throat> you want to go one two three four five frames after five frames you want to zoom in a bit like let's say for example like this and make it so the character is in the center center and tilt it a bit like this at least that's what i like to do then put this first keyframe too fast and this one to slow go at the end of the cinematic go one two three four five zoom this even more rotate it a little bit more as well and then go one two three four five right click on here restore and that's pretty much it so now what we got is pretty much zooming in extremely then slowly zooming in rotating and then going back to normal so we get that vertigo bounce effect, as you can tell, and yeah, once we put it in here, it's gonna look much, much better. Now I'm gonna switch to effects part, and yeah, I'll see you there. Alright, so the first thing that you wanna drag on is BCC Radio Blur. Just type it in here, and drag it on Clip and Cinematic, and let's open effects. Only thing that you want to mess around is center, put it to 0 0.50 and blur amount to 20. That's all I change. If it's on 0 0.60, the center is going to be like here, so you just want to make sure it's in the center. Okay, blur amount 20. And now, press this enemy thingy stopwatch, make this kind of smaller so you can actually see what is going on. Go to this marker here, or frame, where our velocity is on 50. Go 1, 2, 3 frames behind. Make or add keyframe and put it to 0. So this keyframe right here is already on 20% amount and you just want to drag it like around here but you want to make sure it's lined up with the middle marker and the transition. That's pretty much all for this. And now what we created is zooming in radial blur thingy. Now go into cinematic and ignore all the effects, I'm just gonna hide them. Do the same thing, 20% 050-050, 050, animate and go to this marker. Put the amount of 20 right here as well and go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and put it to 0. Basically what we got is blur motion effect and that's pretty much it. Also we want to do the same one zooming out. Again add keyframe go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this time. Again leave it 0 here go to the end and up on you you can change it to 25% that's what I did in my effect you can leave it on 20 it's, it doesn't really matter so that's basically it next effect we want to animate this pinch and punch just drag it on make it show and press animate right here again go at the same point where is this effect starting to animate make a keyframe make sure it's zero go to the end and make it like minus 700 ish doesn't really matter what is this effect gonna create is this warping like in my opinion look, it looks like more it's like zooming out and it makes a nice nice effect in my opinion it's not necessary but in my opinion it looks better and third and last effect is s vignette only thing you want to change is radius uh, the animation amount is going to be 1.200 and just make it show as you can see we got those black edges stretch this and go to this point 
where it's cinematic completely shown. Make a keyframe, or again, press animate, then make a keyframe, and make sure this keyframe is 1.200. Go to the first frame, where the cinematic is now visible, and make it 2000. 2000 is gonna be basically zero effect, so it's not gonna show. Now we got animation of actually effect appealing, as you can see right here. You cannot see, now you see. And again, just repeat the process of doing the same thing right here. Add keyframe, make sure it's 1.200. Go to the end and reset to 2000. That's pretty much it for the effects on, on the clips. Now I just wanna let you know the transitions that I used in here and here. And first one is fade out, just drag it in here. Fade in, just drag it in here. That's basically it. If you wanna make it better, what I'm recommending you is press right click on the cinematic, insert envelope or remove envelope and transition progress. Now you're gonna see this line, pretty much it's almost like velocity line. And this first point, I like to make it like 20, 15, 16%. So actually once it shows like this, the effect is gonna be created. As you can see, our scope is getting out of the screen. And you can also make this like 90%, 91. As you can see, it looks really smooth. Do the same here, right click here, insert below, remove envelope, transition progress. And here, what I did is kind of different. Again, like, say 11%, and 90% so this transition is not complete this pretty much means that transition is not completing all the way so right here on this point you're gonna be able to see the fading in thingy but it's not gonna be visible and right click on the line and slow fade and let's see what we created so far okay so that's about the effects and now I'm gonna switch to the last part which is uh, animating the scope and doing the effects on it alright so the, for the scope thingy uh, only thing you need is in the description you need to download the project file I provided and you're gonna be able to get this green screen thingy just drag it in chop it or cut it so it's one frame before this make a nice fade transition and right here at the edge one frame on after the shot and then go one, two, three and make another fade transition. That's pretty much all I did here. Even though it's not necessary, you can just cut the clip right here. So where it shows the kill restored to none, even though I kind of like it like this. So it's more animated. Only effect we're going to drag on the scope is BCC chroma key and you can completely copy paste my settings. Reason why is because you're probably going to use the same scope at effect. Once I hide or unhide this, you're gonna see the scope. If I put it to best full, you're gonna be able to see the lines and everything. But yeah, for now, let's just keep it half. Uh, make this bigger a bit, because now we're gonna animate. And actually, we need to put it to best full so we'll see the lines. Only thing you wanna keep in mind in here is to try and make and to try and line up your scope with the original scope. As you can see in this first, in the middle of those transition, you can see that original scope is more zoomed in you cannot actually see it. so we are gonna do the same thing run like this even more okay i think that's gonna be fine doesn't need to be perfect it's gonna be like really not visible and then you know so go to five frames after or this transition right here you can zoom it in even more around here yeah exactly and make this slow fade leave this to linear go at the end right on the kill marker go one two three right here and on this point we want to zoom out around like i would say here and maybe add a little bit of rotation like this also leave it on slow as well in the then go one two three and press restore that's basically it for pen, pen and cropping this effect let's see how it looks it has pretty s simple effect even though there is a bunch of effects throwing on to make it look better let's see if it's animated well 
that's basically it for this tutorial boys if you enjoyed uh, make sure to leave a like subscribe thank you for watching make sure to subscribe because more of this tutorials is going to be coming soon and yeah i hope you enjoyed check the project file use my support to creator and I'll see you next one